There we go. Got it. I just add, need to add the filters. <laughs> Anyways. Hi, Washington. Hi, Angel. And Angel, you're not late. You literally are very quick. <laughs> cool story, Bob. Bruh. Bruh. I. Let's get into some Genshin Impact because... I wanna I wanna finish this mission. So So this is the Omomori Tejima wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design. Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy? Okay, we're going this way. Rocks. Here we are! This seems to be somewhere that Tejima visited a lot. The soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe Tejima buried something precious here. Something that kept him in the village all these years? Must be something pretty amazing if it made Just him stick it up and find out. 30 years. Let's dig it up and take a look. Yeah, we're not taking it, Paimon. Okay, so I don't think it's going to be buried treasure. Must have been written a really long time ago. Honda Village. Sounds so familiar. Where is that place again? If we become separated during war, go wait for me in Konda Village. There'll be a safe home for us there. Ah. Lovers, perhaps? It's here. So the reason Tejima came here was to wait for someone. I don't but think they ever showed up though. Years. Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. Sounds good to me. We gotta reunite this guy with his memories, bro. Hey, Tejima, we found this. Look at it. Well, I'll be. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me, too. <clears throat> but I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Yes. Anything that Unless I you're talking about me, I was reading the note. Finally reunited. This is a kind of a voice acting. <laughs> I can't voice act. Just not look all. at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Mm. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been hollowed out. Love, regret, everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. Which means he must have met her while he had his vision, and a vision is literally like a part of your body and it holds parts of your memories. Like, until, like, somebody, somebody or yourself helps you figure out, or you yourself find out what your memories were back from then, you pr pretty much temporarily have memory loss. Um, I feel like, for him, I feel like his character looks like he might have been, like, a water user like hydro 
Except since he's in Inazuma, they probably would have been Electro. But he looks like he would have had a Hydro Vision. Uh, does that make you feel sad? No. Not especially. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. So, do you plan on leaving? I think... maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. True, he could. Could very Although, well have been. Hydro. What if she were to turn up eventually? Only to find I didn't remember so much as her name. Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? When I think about it like that, I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Hejima seems to be feeling okay, but still makes Paimon really sad. Yeah, me too. Losing a reason to feel sad is maybe the saddest thing of all. Honestly, that's pretty true. certainly explains the state Tejimo was in earlier. At least we were able to help him, weren't we? Yeah, I think we were. <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. You betcha, we can do it. According to Miss Kamisato, the second one who lost their vision is a samurai from the Tenryo Commission. Alright, you know I'm talking about one? Okay, can I teleport? <laughs> I try my best not to interrupt Paimon. They say the Tenryo Commission is directly controlled by the Shogun. They're the ones responsible for maintaining law and order in Inazuma. The ones actually enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree. But why would they take action against one of their own? Well, Paimon doesn't get it. Huh? There seems to be some commotion over there. Let's go see what's happening. I'll ask one more time. Do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions? The entire clan is counting on that food. We demand an explanation. How many times do I have to say it? I don't know anything about emergency provisions. You dare deceive us? Those provisions are essential. Do you understand? Not some goods to be pocketed by greedy samurai. You samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this. Row row. Emergency provisions? Like, <laughs> emergency food? Oh, huh? And who are you? One of Kurosawa's gang, no doubt. What? Uh, what? We just happened to be passing by. Do I look like I'm even from Inazuma, my see guy? What the matter was. I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. Perhaps you can help us settle this matter. This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for distribution. In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. Now, he suddenly refuses to give us anything. He's keeping the provisions for himself, I just know it! We'll starve without them! No one seems to care about us. We used to think Kurosawa was a kind man, but he's shown his true colors. He's the same as all the other samurai. Hi, Lemmy! It's no wonder all the visions have been confiscated. How's it going? The Raiden Shogun doesn't need people like him helping her rule the nation. This must be 
one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. Yeah, you know what's sus about this? My guy really don't remember. Maybe we should talk to Kurosawa and see what he has to say. Because his vision was taken, taken, which means his memories were taken. Or at least, it's not necessarily. I heard of these oh, wait, emergency provisions. It's not necessarily. From what I'm get gathering, the memories themselves that are gone. It's like the feelings of those memories. I mean, some of the memories are like just completely not there. But besides that, it's just like. The feelings of them are gone too. So, like, even if they do remember, they can't quite get it. I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But here you're doing but good. Either way, I'm doing good ridiculous. myself. Thank you. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? My own family can barely get by as it is. No, if you'll excuse me, I've got other matters to attend to. You heard that you lost your vision recently. And that's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. <laughs> the Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Apparently, I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. All I know is that I would perform certain things every month. But I don't recall what they were. I agree. And it's not just up. that. I have this unsettling feeling. Like, like, someone owes me something. Does it have to do with the missing emergency provisions? I didn't take any. Like I said. If I was taking them for myself, I wouldn't be going through such hard times right now. To top it all off, my house was just raided by treasure hoarders. Which is why I came here in the first place. I was chasing after them when I got held up by these two. If you don't believe me, go find the treasure hoarders yourself. If there were any emergency provisions to be had, they would have found them. The truth. I'm not a dork, well, we better but confirm. now that's I'm trying. Let's go round up those treasure hoarders and see what they have to say. We should be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone too far. Because if I don't call myself a dork, that just means I'm I'm weird or stupid. <laughs> I'll go with dork. <sighs> Anyways, treasure hoarders. Come on. You've got some goody goods to give back. And I'm going to make you give them back. Oh, hello, Miss Jessica, beautiful fox. Oh, look at them standing so proud. Beautiful. We really outdid ourselves this time. All those samurai houses packed with goods. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Oh, goods, you I say. Mean, besides that one house. If you haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a lot more where this came from. No, this is the end of the line. Sorry, buddies. Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you no, all on an epic end. journey of pillage and plunder that will go down in hoarder history. This isn't Clash of Clans, and I'm you demand, ending boss. your raid here. These seem like the treasure hoarders we're after. Let's teach them a lesson. <laughs> Another solidify. I will have order. Cool it. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. 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 Confess. Starfall. Oh, there goes all the mora. We worked hard to steal that, you know. Mm -hmm. Come on, boss. Think of something. <clears throat> Not bad, kid. You ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? We could use someone like you. No, I'm not joining your little league of Powerpuff Girls. Forget it. Tell us all you know about Kurosawa. Kurosawa? Oh, I remember. So he's the one who sent you after us, Yeah, huh? I taught him a lesson. <laughs> Just our luck. I knew we shouldn't have hit that place. 
So what did you see inside? Was it stuffed with food supplies? Food supplies? <laughs> you kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was a strange looking box, hopefully with valuables inside. I didn't want anyone else to see it, so I was planning on opening it myself once we got back. But now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That little box for our freedom. What do you say? No. You've got a deal. But now show us what's in the box. Huh? We literally have the upper hand. How about we take everything and give it back to everybody that was stolen from and put them behind bars? We're just gonna let them continue stealing? Excuse me? After they literally said that that's what they were going to do and we heard it? Paimon, I gotta have a conversation with you and Traveler, you are way too strong to be letting yourself be pushed around like this. Oh my god. What the? Th there's nothing yeah, in here, pretty but much. I don't it's like, uh, what? Yeah, a lot of them too. And they all seem to be made out to the owner of a general goods store, a Miss Aoi. We're talking tons of more Aoi. Ideas. We better talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. As for you guys, you're free to go. So, why? Just pray that our paths don't cross again. Well, <laughs> yes, of course. So we redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh, does that mean we broke even? Shut it. Let's just get out of here. Bro, what the hell? What? Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. We've got everything you need. Can I help you find something? Or perhaps... There's something about you want to no. inquire about? About these IOUs. Ah, so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it. <laughs> Perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. Whoa, oof. whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're just here to learn where they all came from. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the payment on his own account. However, the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough to cover the cost. So, he started writing out IOUs to cover whatever he couldn't afford of the usual amount. So that's how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual <laughs> amount? If the yeah, price it's increased, like, couldn't he just buy less? Yeah, it's literally like, Paimon, why are you so, like, uh, against paying off his debt? It literally probably won't even be more than 100,000 more, if that. I do believe we can handle that. Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough, especially after such long and careful planning. That's fair. Would suck to go so hungry. So he deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense and no one ever appreciated what he did <laughs> don't worry about it it happens and held him accountable people's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances in the face of hardship nobody cares to think twice uh, if you ask me had kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now of course, I'm sure there would still have been some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone, I'm still not too clear myself. If you're still curious, 
Why don't you go ask him yourself? See, that's the issue. He doesn't remember. I see. That reminds me. It seems that his vision was recently confiscated. Yes. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. I'll pay it all for him. What sword? Oh, didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. He's carried it for years now. I've asked him about its origins. He it's told me that it was a gift from Bye. his father, that it was too precious to sell. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Everything has its price, at least that's what I think. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Oh, but before you go, if you would kindly settle today's bill. Okay. <laughs> but we didn't buy anything! It's fine. <laughs> Information is also a kind of commodity, wouldn't you agree? Don't worry, I won't charge much for information about Kurosawa. Nothing we ever discussed was explicitly confidential anyway. Oh, let me think. 2,000 mora should be a fair price. Fair enough. At least we now know where the emergency provisions were coming from. Plus, we found out that Kurosawa has a priceless sword in his possession. Let's go talk to Kurosawa again, and see if he can remember anything. Ah, I see. That's what you're talking about. Alright, Kurosawa. I need your sword. That you may not even remember how dear it is to you. I mean, really, I don't need your sword. I can pay the debts off myself, but that's not gonna help the people further in the future, so... I presented them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. Uh, I don't know about Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Actually. Everything I said was true, right? Yeah, about that. That just about sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions, but they were all purchased at your own expense. Strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? <sighs> really don't understand but I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away I could sense that my body was somehow reluctant to do so the sword mind if we have a look this sword was once wielded by my father I remember once when I was young I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door my father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he you say? You were playing with a sword, so. <sighs> I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So many memories gone. Forever. No matter how hard I try to remember. All I can remember now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed. Before he passed away, he placed the sword in my hands and said to me, With this sword, you should... <sighs> hey, if you look carefully, there seems to be some words engraved on the hilt. Can you recognize the words? The words are virtue and justice. Virtue and justice? Somehow those two words seem to explain everything now. Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. 
I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. Mm -hmm. But what use are virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. And look how things ended up. Yeah, but you didn't tell anyone about the it. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help refused to understand me. Because you never and told the them anything. That's not their fault. I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. Well, you I'm should. I'm capable of being a good person. Yet I'm equally unable to be bad. I... I don't know what to do with myself. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. In any case, we must never let him sell off that sword. Losing a vision is no trifling matter. Yeah. Let him have one. Seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Uh, yeah, it's kind of us, like... You don't have a vision. Let's go find the next poor soul. Losing your vision in losing your ambition, like how everyone so far has described losing their ambition, just sounds like a form of hardcore depression. <laughs> Memory loss and depression. The third person who had their vision taken is supposed to be a famous sword master around these parts. Hyman heard that he's the present day master of Make Your Shisui Art. Sounds pretty impressive. This is his dojo. Luckily, there's some people around. Let's go talk to them. Nanako, don't worry. Sensei will be fine. Those thugs that challenged the dojo were strong, but he fought them all off in the end, didn't he? Maybe, but I'm still worried about him. Things have gotten dangerous before in the past, but it's never shaken him. This time, though... It's just because he's been possessed, that's all. Once the exorcism has taken place, he'll be right as rain in no time. Hey there! Oh god. Did something happen? Who are you? Uh, Don't care you whether know. you're trespassers or just here to harass us while Sensei is impaired. Get out of here immediately! Don't make me draw my blade or you won't live to regret it. No! You got it so wrong! Um, we just came here to... Uh... Won't live? Won't live, you say? Sir? Don't even. You're funny. Anyways, we're here to become disciples. Disciples? Uh, yep, yep! We've heard all about the mighty master of Make Your Shisui Art. It's the whole reason we came all this way. To seek him out and ask him to train us. But then we got here and overheard you talking about how he got possessed or something? Hmm. From the way you're dressed, it doesn't look like you're from around here. Nope. Please, accept my apologies. We've had so many people trying to cause us trouble recently that we're on high alert. You haven't Oopsie arrived scary, at the best of times, times, I'm afraid. Since they got possessed spike. recently, and he's still recovering. He's not able to take on any new disciples for the time being. Mm. I'm not going back until I can call him my sensei. I see you are earnest in your pursuit. <sighs> okay, how about this? My fellow disciple Nanako and I will explain sensei's situation to you in a little more detail. Then you can decide whether to stay or to leave. Sensei's name is Domo. A name I'm sure you've already heard. Vaguely. Though self-taught, he mastered the art of the sword to a high level. He then proceeded to defeat many other prominent sword masters, never losing a single fight. He once said that his goal was to become the best sword master in the world. And so, even while training us, he continued to hone his own art. His fervor truly inspired us, and we trained hard. Determined to keep up with him. But then. Not long ago, Sensei had his vision taken away. He hasn't been the same since. He says the strangest things over and over, and he refuses to let us train. 
Junya and I have discussed it, and, and we both think that he's been possessed by an evil spirit. So we've asked the Shrine Maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine to perform an exorcism. But if I'm honest, I still have my doubts over whether he'll completely recover. The Grand Narukami Shrine? What's that? You haven't heard of it? It's the largest shrine on Narukami Island. The head shrine maiden is reputed to have very close ties with the almighty shogun herself. Not that we'd have any means of involving the head shrine maiden, of course. What do you mean? I'm ordinary already a great swordsman. The Grand Narukami Shrine would have clear power and authority to perform an exorcism. I just don't hold any Inuzuman technique. Probably really any at all. I just kind of go ham. So don't worry, Nanako. Sensei is going to be just fine. Oh. No, I doubt that. The exorcism will take place this evening. You're both more than welcome to come and watch if you're interested. So, losing your vision can cause possession? I uh, guess we should come back this evening and see for ourselves. Mm-hmm. All right. Talk to me, Junya. What's happening? Shh. So you decided to come. Okay, that's right. It's a good thing you didn't arrive any earlier. You would have had to witness Sensei in one of his fits of madness. Just now, mm -hmm. when Nanako was attending to him, she heard him whispering a few names to himself. When she asked him who the people were, he suddenly looked panic-stricken and pushed her away. It looked like he was in great distress. He was covering his ears and looking frantically around him with bloodshot eyes. All the while, we kept calling those names. Some of them we knew, others we didn't recognize. But they all seemed to be the names of sword masters he had defeated in the past. One of them was Anzai. He used to be a fellow disciple of Sensei's. Yeah, it's senior, just right. In fact, we're being nice. We're not Sensei defeated him in a duel many years mm -hmm. ago, and he has been a wanderer ever since. Since they wouldn't stop calling his name. <sighs> Thankfully, the shrine maidens managed to subdue him. So the exorcism can finally continue. The I ritual think has now possessed. begun. All we can do is patiently await the result. Here's hoping Sensei will be back to his normal self very soon. Uh, no, Please, I think he's just going to be traumatized now. While I fetch some water. If he wakes up, he is sure to be thirsty. Yeah, and ready to whip your ass for thinking that he's possessed. Oh, yeah, hello? What? Old oh, man running! Old oh, man, come back! Huh? Who's that sneaking around? Uh-oh. Could they be here to mess up the exorcism? We won't let them well, get away with possessed, it. So. Come on, let's go after them! If you're not possessed, I don't think you can really mess up an exorcism. Then again, I'm not a shrine maiden or a priest. Hey, okay, come here. You got information. Seems they aren't here. Hmm. Should we keep going for the rock? Yes. Mm, is this definitely the right place? Let's look a little further up. Aha! Found it. How did you catch up with me? Welcome, so T Coin. How's it going? Are you sure you're Dolmon's disciples? You move even quicker than he does. Unless, I guess it's been a few years. But you're doing good. Maybe his skills have improved again. Um, excuse oh. me. We're the ones asking what? the questions here. First off, eh? who are you? And what are Thank you. Doing? Why though? Mm -hmm. You seem like bad news, mister! Question mark? Bad news? <laughs> I'll have you know I trained side by side with Domon back in the day. Long before you ever showed up. I don't care to talk about that time anymore. But if you must know... Angel, you didn't I make a second Domon account, did you? Senior. The senior? Wait, that means it's for you hmm? must be... Anzai. Yes, that's me. Why did you run? 
Because I don't wish to see Dolmon or anyone okay. else associated with him ever again. When we were young, we trained under the same sword just really, master. I just really studying make your an interesting. Somebody hops in, and then all of us, all of a sudden, like first time in the stream, and then me is a steady and dependable older a prime disciple. sub. Like what? Practitioners of make Yoshisui art oh, seek to achieve thank you stillness for of 200 mind, bits. Thank you, Angel. from all agitation. So the majority of so, disciples thank you very much, are indifferent Tukran, thank you. to rank and reward. I was no that must exception. be because you have the uh, the, the, was the Twitch Prime or whatever. First Something thing he like did that? when he joined was go straight to our sensei and ask him well, with a beaming smile on his face how to become the best in the world. Is it? Oh, okay. Sensei scolded well, him. Thank you for choosing my stream. Oh, thank you for following. Used for Goodness, such vain thank you. Ends. Sensei Again, said sorry that about the, the title of the best my sword master barely I'm used to Angel always being the one trying to like anonymously give stuff. That this would impede him from ever mastering the blade. I thought so too at the time, but Dolmon began making swift <laughs> progress in his training Thank you. and even started catching up with me. Only then did I realize that it was Dolmon who had long since freed his mind from all agitation. He's acting he was consumed by his singular well, desire as, as long to as it didn't the hurt your feelings world. and you're not mad he saw i'm happy nothing less than perfection in the no, and i'm also sword. happy that you just had to give that to me in the first place so thank you this goal no matter what stood in his way sure sounds like he meant business so how come you don't want to ever see him again because until he arrived i was convinced that i would succeed our sensei as the master of make yoshi sweetheart of all the disciples, I was the most gifted. I had trained the longest. Everyone had high expectations for me. Dolmon's arrival changed everything. When we sparred, I lost not just the match, but my pride and my status too. I fled the dojo that day and never looked back. Later, I heard that he sparred with Sensei too. Sensei was advanced in years by then, and unfortunately, that match used up every last ounce of energy in his body. Yikes. After that, I wanted that sounds nothing bad. further to do with him. Deep down, though, I still respected his mastery of the blade and his commitment to the art of the sword. So, when I heard rumors that he had lost his mind, my first reaction was to dismiss them as false. How could he, of all people, have lost his mind? His mind was the sharpest of them all. He had practiced make Yoshi Sui art to perfection. I decided to quietly come and see if it were true. Then, to my complete astonishment, I heard him call Founder, my name. Founder badges? I thought mine was a name he had long since forgotten. So you see, I came yeah, here not to cause him any harm. I just wanted to see for myself. Okay. You've heard my story. You should get back now. The exorcism is probably finishing. Hmm. Seems like we got oh, it wrong this back time. On your bed. He wasn't here to mess up Ooh. the exorcism at all. Still, Paimon's not sure we should bring him back with us. Uh, let's go see how the exorcism's coming along. The value on the founder badges? Sometimes I'm a little stoopy when it comes to uh, Twitch gifts and stuff, <laughs> and Twitch in general, and streaming, you know. Ah. What? You're saying he isn't possessed? Does that mean that he's just blocked his mind? But how, how is that possible? No, no, I refuse to believe it. Something's clearly wrong. Monaco, please. Oh, Try not to get agitated. I am sorry. That makes With sense. With what powers I have, I can find no sign of any malignant spirit having possessed Domon. But spirits may take a myriad of forms in this world, many of which I cannot claim to have witnessed myself. Thus, I dare not rule out possession with complete certainty. And all is certainly not lost, for I received word not long ago that Lady Yai has taken an interest in your sensei's case. L Lady Yai? Is that the same Lady Yai that I think you mean? 
the Miss Maxi Fox Lady. Of the Grand Narukami Shrine? That's wonderful news. Then Sensei will be sure to recover. Correct. Lady Yai is most knowledgeable indeed, and has abundant experience in the exorcism of evil spirits and aversion of great calamities. I am unable to say for certain whether an evil spirit has possessed your sensei, but Lady yeah, Yai person. can give a conclusive <laughs> verdict. Excuse me, Miss Inagi, but I must ask, should we prepare a greeting gift for Lady Yai? That won't be necessary. All that is required of you is your timely arrival at the Grand Narukami Shrine. Lady Yai does not like to be kept waiting. I must leave now, but we will meet soon at the shrine. I wish Domon a full and speedy recovery. Who'd have thought Lady Yai herself would have taken notice of our Sensei's case? Do you mean to say that Sensei isn't renowned enough to deserve Lady Yai's attention? No, no, that's not what I meant at all. You misunderstand me. I just mean this is Lady Yai, the head shrine maiden. She has direct and close contact with the almighty Shogun herself. Uh, um, anyway, you should join us too, tomorrow. Given that you've traveled all this way just to meet our sensei, we, the disciples of Mekio Shi's sweet art, will do our best to help you. I will gladly join you. Sure! After all, everyone seems pretty excited about Lady Yai. We're curious to meet her too. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find out a thing or two about the right and Chosen from her. All right, where are we going? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Glad that my stream is entertaining enough to earn your your viewership. I don't talk a whole lot though, so I can't be that entertaining. <laughs> That tree is really pretty. The fox tree. I'll be honest, I, I kind of just realized that that is in the shape of a fox. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't Isn't just notice that. that. Lady Yai? Oh, no wonder Junyo is so excited. She has a really striking presence. An appearance. <laughs> is it just Paimon? Or did she look right at us just now? Ooh, Paimon's simping. <laughs> it was probably nothing. It's not like she's ever seen us before. Keep away. Keep away from me. I gave up the art of the sword. Mm, I think it's more Genshin Impact that's entertaining than you. Though. As you can see, Lady Yai, Domon has persisted in this state for some time now. He appears to see those who have lost to him in duels past, gathered all around him to persecute him. Lady Yai, it must be a possession. Right? This is nothing like him at all. In the past, no matter what came his way, he would always face it with a, a confident smile. Hmm. I'm sorry. It is clear to me that your sensei is not possessed by any evil spirit. But... Then did, does that mean he... Hmm, yes. This is a change in the person himself. Unable to cope with the tremendous pressure he was under, he suffered a spiritual collapse. With his wits impaired, he finally descended into... madness. As one who is thrown into the sea, though he fights back desperately against his predicament, it does nothing to prevent his descent into the depths. <laughs> As for what has triggered this change, I, guess, I believe maybe, it must I don't be know. the loss of his vision. For to be stripped of one's vision is to be stripped of one's... ambition. Stripped of his ambition? But Lady Yai, even well, without his ambition, case. I'm happy. why should he suffer such a dramatic change? How does that explain his descent into madness? Your school practices make Yoshisui art, does Why would it not? I admit it? I'm not entertaining Stillness to myself. Mind, Others are entertaining to me. <laughs> what a fine notion that would be if any in this world could ever hope to achieve it. There was once... One who claimed to be indifferent to rank and reward, and who fled enraged when defeated by his junior. And then there was an aged swordmaster who was aggrieved enough that he crossed blades with the disciple he himself had taught. 
then, what of the one who crossed blades with his own sensei and beloved it's fellow disciple? It's not my place to accept anything. And defeated them both? Of the sort like that, so... <laughs> Can one truly is, remain unagitated is, of still mind in moments Different such for as everybody. these? Lady, I, I, I'm not sure I understand. Uh, the path of the sword masters filled with twists and turns. It is no small undertaking to pursue the position of greatest sword master in the world. It requires one to take their sword firmly in both hands and cut down the hopes and dreams of others. Even those of one's closest companions. Only a deep commitment to his ambition to become the best We're made it possible for him to rise above the pain of these encounters. Too much sometimes. To focus on the way ahead. When that ambition disappeared, he began to doubt himself. As he battled his growing anxiety, he slowly descended into the state you see him in now. <laughs> much like a certain fatally flawed friend of mine. Poor Sensei. To think he's been suffering so greatly. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Father. Sensei. Onsai. That's enough. Huh? Isn't that Onsai? Where did he come from? Did he follow us the whole way here? Onsai. Why are there two of you? Is mm -hmm. that you or a ghost? You're here for revenge, aren't you? I knew it would come. I never should have. You're right to assume that my feelings towards you are far from kindly. <sighs> but I didn't come here to settle a score. It's been so long now that I made peace with it years ago. You did nothing wrong that day. I just... I couldn't face the humiliation. That's why I ran. I don't think most of the people you beat along the way would hold it against you. On the contrary, when you cut our ambitions short, we entrusted them to you in the hopes that they might carry you further. Now I know that we can't place our hopes in you any longer, since you've been stripped of your ambitions too. Dang, that's tough. But that is no reason to strip them of theirs. Follow the way of the sword all the way to the highest peak. You taught them that, didn't you? But what if one day, the same thing happens to them? You can't live your life off of the and I butts. Had into trying to become the best. But what if it was all a huge mistake right from the start? If there's a chance they'll end up like me one day, I'd rather they stay where they are now than go any further down this path. Statue pudding. Have you asked them what they think? Sensei, after you rescued me from the hands of the pirates, I told myself I would follow in your footsteps for the rest of my days. Yeah, I made the more. It's good, okay. I can't know whether I will suffer in my future as you do now. That was the last All box, I so... Know is that here and now in no the more. present i wish to continue i want to keep going until the day that i can stand before everyone with my head held high and announce that i like my sensei domon before me am a master of meiji oshisui art Nanako's i had three boxes within one. the last few days so actually i think i'll just go back for a while <laughs> so i don't just get myself sick of it well i you see, you can place the ambition you once had in their hands. Being stripped of your ambition is something that's never happened to me, so I can't claim to understand it. But I do know what it feels like to have your ambitions crushed. That's what happened on the day that you so effortlessly defeated me. So, just as I once placed my ambitions onto you, it is time for you to release yours into their custody. You are not in the same position that I was. When I left, I had nothing to my name. But you have a great number of worthy disciples. I... I understand. I'm sorry to have made you worry for me and for the state of Miyakyo Shisui art. Yeah, Miko just standing in the back there like, I'm so unamused. I no longer have the resolve to become the best in the world. The emptiness and suffering inside of me will not abate, so I cannot hope to still my mind and be free of agitation. 
But as your sensei, I shall commit to imparting unto you everything I have learned in my life so far. This is my promise. And I humbly ask Anzai, my senior, He's back to, his to senses. hold me to my word. You can count on that. I'd be checking in on you occasionally anyway, just to make sure you hadn't lost your mind again. But I am now used to the life of a wanderer. I do not belong in the dojo anymore, so I will simply stop by once in a while to make sure you aren't cutting any corners with them. Well, don't just stand there staring at me. Say thank you to Lady Yai and then get yourself back home. Sensei's back in business. So even though his ambition was taken away, his disciples can take it over on his behalf. Guess that sort of solves this one, huh? Yeah, it seems as good of a resolution as we can hope for, honestly. Traveler, a moment, please. Yes. Lady Yai has some words for you. Okay. So, my intuition was correct. A wind that blows from afar carries fresh life to these shores. Eh. For us to meet now is premature. Nevertheless, you set foot on these islands at precisely the right moment. Okay. Hmm, I have high hopes for you, child. Don't disappoint me. I won't, I won't disappoint you like how... Autoplay disappoints me. Ooh, Lady Yai seems to have taken a I know. real interest in and you. And I know she knows. She seems super mysterious. I'm so curious what she really meant by that. That early uh, TikTok sound sound recently. Act full, act full, act full, act full. We should go report back to Miss Kamisato. I suppose that's kind of bold now on TikTok. Now it's Sam Smith's song going around. Body shopper unholy. Whichever one it's gonna be named. Funny and hot. Whee! Mimi! Tell me. Jesus scared me. <laughs> literally scared me. Oh. Hello. Hi, human. Traveler, Paimon. It is a pleasure to finally meet you both face to face. <laughs> I have heard all about how you helped our three friends. My sincerest thanks to you. Actually, we, we didn't really help at all. The damage done by losing a vision can't be completely undone. <sighs> yeah. Short of getting them their visions back, it seems like there's no way to really help them. Um, Ayaka, how come this time you get to come out and meet us in person? <laughs> because now that you have done the three things I asked of you, I consider you to be my friends. Yeah. As you will observe, <laughs> I dispense with the screen for Toma also. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. But isn't Toma your um servant? Paimon's happy to help and all, but Paimon sure as heck did not sign up to be a servant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Paimon, uh, no, you are most entertaining. Toma is first and foremost about it, my but... friend. And was so before he know. ever became my attendant. I bought it before okay, on my then. uh old account, but not this one. You seem pretty different out in the open compared to how you are behind the screen. Hmm. <laughs> All right, friend, we can be friends. Friend request accepted. <laughs> Perfect online thing Thank to say. Thank you both kindly. Back to the matter at hand. You have now witnessed the pain of those deprived of their visions. What are your feelings on what you have seen? Uh, I hope they can one day be free from their f torment. It seems to be a fate worse than death, literally. <sighs> Perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the almighty Shogun, the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential. 
Thunders roar, lightnings flash, the winds assault, and the rains descend. Oh, what? All these things take place with no regard for the feelings of the common people. But I believe that surely you understand what they must endure. The hell just happened? What? You can give somebody these? Through Genshin. What? Oh. I didn't know that. Well, thank you. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> I was so quick. I'm like, uh, 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 what's happening? It seems that perhaps now you can appreciate my feelings about this. You can do that. You need to figure out In how to be able to. Perhaps you would be willing to reconsider your stance. Uh, I will help you fight the Vision Hunt degree. You will? Really? But you must keep the promise you made me. Naturally. <laughs> All right, bravo, my lady. You were right all along. See? I told you she wouldn't reject them. I placed my trust this in the right person me. after what all. What was it? Come on, man. Now then, given that the remainder of our discussion pertains to matters of a more confidential nature, perhaps yeah, we can move confused. to the Kamori Tea House? Even more than I was. We ought not to involve other members of the Yashiro Commission. I, it was, but. What? What? Eh, what would it? What? I didn't know that you, that was a thing that you could do. Well. Thank you, like, literally, thank you. Well, here we are again! Please continue without me. I'll keep watch. with this place anyway what makes it your favorite meeting spot this is a land that was gifted to the yashiro commission by the shogun Tomadog. <laughs> the kamisato clan has the exclusive right to plan build and repair any property on this land and even to allow or deny Those access flowers are pretty. such privileges exist due to the yashiro commission's role in managing ceremonial affairs oftentimes it is not appropriate to discuss details in front of bystanders Gets it? Gotta keep a bit of mystery, right? Once the number of ceremonial affairs conducted in the city began to decline, our forebearers built a tea house here. Only members of the Yashiro Commission are permitted to come and go as they please. Makes sense. Perfect place for a secret base. In any case, we can talk freely here. I presume you have a few questions that you wish to ask me? Uh, what kind of god is the Raiden Shogun? Is no one else fighting the Vision Hunt Decree? Have you raised a formal objection to the Vision Hunt Decree? No. What kind of god is the Raiden Shogun? The I mean, I'm going to ask Shogun. everything, but... I've seen her on but only a few occasions. Most of them formal ceremonies. She inspires awe, commands respect, and exudes a sense of absolute authority. But as I recall... There was something else about her that struck me even more deeply. It was her almost complete lack of any emotion. In that sense, she appeared to me to be less of a ruler and more of, well, an executive official, I suppose. Focused exclusively on her single goal of implementing eternity. Acting accordingly without feeling. A robot? Is no one else fighting the Vigilant Degree? The issue is this. For the vast majority of people, the Vision Hunt Decree is something that has no implications whatsoever. After all, it is but a tiny minority of people who receive visions. Moreover, it is not unknown for visions to spark jealousy in others. Because of this, the attitude of most people towards the Vision Hunt Decree is one of indifference. How can they be like that? I 
Paimon's getting mad. Nevertheless, oh no, not Paimon in addition getting to mad. us, there is also the resistance on Watatsumi Island. Resistance? You mean like an army fighting against the decree? Yes. Many who have lost or fear losing their visions have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. To say a little more about Sangonomiya, historically, there has always been some conflict between them and the shogunate of Norokami Island due to their different belief systems. But I do wonder Thank whether there may be some other agenda behind minutes. their resistance movement, beyond merely fighting the Vision Hunt Decree. Have you raised a formal objection to the Vision Hunt Decree? Of course. We have tried on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, each time a proposal to repeal the decree arrives at Tenchukaku, it is promptly vetoed by both the Tenryo Commission and the Kanjo Commission, and subsequently scrapped. They invariably adopt a stance of unconditional support for the Shogun's decisions. They have no interest in discussing anything. It almost makes one wonder whether they had a hand in the Shogun's sudden decision to issue the Vision Hunt Decree. Hmm. I have no further questions. Ooh, ooh! Paimon has a question, though! Oh, what is oh? it? What would you like to mm, know, Paimon? Ask for a reward, aren't you? Have you got a plan yet? To fight oh, the no, Vision okay. Hunt Decree? To be honest, we do not. W what? Please, do not forget that challenging the Vision Hunt Decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. Coming to terms with that is already a difficult step to take. Well, for the moment, all we can do is try and reduce the harm that is being caused by this decree. Jungly. For example, character in general and playwise. Providing with safe refuge, or manufacturing counterfeit visions for them as a contingency measure. You're telling Paimon that there are people out there who can make fake visions? Don't underestimate yes, the, the talents man. <laughs> of the craftspeople in Hanamizaka. To the naked eye. Their counterfeits are indistinguishable from the genuine article. The old dragon man. Must have been where Venti went. I kind of want one too. Uh... The problem we are facing right now is that Master Masakatsu, who was providing us with counterfeit visions, has recently been arrested by the Tenryo Commission. Darn! So they found out about it? Ugh. Yes. We knew it was not a long-term solution, and that it was only a matter of time before it would be exposed. But we cannot simply abandon Master Matsukatsu. He has saved many others. It is only right that he should be saved, too. Exactly. I feel the same way. But given mine and Toma's identities as part of the Yashiro Commission, breaking him out of prison would risk dragging down the reputation of the entire Kamisato clan should we be caught. That would only serve to cast suspicion on any future activity we might seek to attempt. So you're offloading the job to me, huh? <laughs> By no yeah. means do Don't we save intend the to place world. the burden of such a task Even on as your shoulders alone. <laughs> Don't save ready, it because it's all got issues. Go to Hanamizaka and look for a fireworks shop run by the Naganohara family. There, you will find someone who can help you. Alright, let's get that achievement. What was it? Omamori Justice number one. Complete the three small wishes. Oh. 127 achievements! I'm getting there slowly. Oh. Bruh. Uh, no, no. There we go. Bye, dog. Wait, what? Owner of Komori Tea House. Do you talk? Here's us. Uh. The man, the house is confusing, okay? Or tea house, whatever. Hey. Hey. Just hand
hand it over. You don't want any trouble with me. If you think your elemental powers are enough to resist the Vision Hunt decree, then you'd better think again. Believe me, you're not the first of your kind we've encountered, and we've seen the same unpleasant outcome time after time. You'd best save yourself time the trouble. After time. Uh, <laughs> can't you make an exception? I just got this vision. I won't even use it, I promise. I don't even see so vision on him. The vision hunt decree in action, huh? We can't just sit around and watch things unfold, can we? Let's move. So I don't have a vision, but I still have magic. Wait. Oh, dang There's it. someone trying to get our attention. Leave me alone. This way. Let me deal with it. Uh, what's going on? Can't you see we need to go help? Shh, quiet. Just sit tight and watch for a moment. Hey, this isn't right, you know. Just because you don't have a vision doesn't mean you can sit back and watch others in trouble. Okay, but we don't have a vision, Shh. okay? If you don't keep your voice down, I won't have one much longer. <sighs> right, then why did right. you pull us over here? We could have deal with it ourselves, Blondie. Come on. Wise choice. Seriously. Right, let's go. I don't understand this logic whatsoever, Genshin. Mihoyo. What should we do now? <laughs> He's already given up his vision. Doesn't he know what could happen to him after losing it? Uh, this is your fault. I agree. Even when you stopped us from interfering. <sighs> Many thanks, Miss Yoimiya. If you hadn't swapped me a fake just now, I'm sure I would have lost it. Uh. Okay, no but they worries. literally just said there. he's coming with them, though. <laughs> so the vision they took was fake. Seems we were a fool, too. I didn't really remember this at all, that's important. Oh, yeah. so that's what's going on here. And to think Paimon was about to unleash Paimonial wrath on Miss Yoimiya. <laughs> <laughs> Think nothing of it. I could tell from your reaction we were on the same side. You just didn't know it, you know? <laughs> oh, right. Allow me to introduce right? myself. I'm Yoimiya, the current owner of Naganohara Fireworks. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Great to meet ya. Yeah. Practically everyone on Hanamizaka knows Yoimiya. She's the queen of the summer festival. Without her and her fireworks, summer on Narukami Island just wouldn't be the same. Oh, that's quite the introduction. Paimon loves fireworks. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Stop it, Hanjiro. You embarrass me. As for thanking me, you'd be better off thanking oh, Master Masakatsu. Is Paimon secretly a tiny god? In the first place. Like the new one? <laughs> His handiwork allowed me to keep my own vision. A child god. <sighs> I can't even imagine trying to run the business without it. Ugh. Yes, Master Masakatsu is a good man. It's too bad good people seldom get the recognition they deserve. Master Masakatsu? Huh? Do you guys know him too? Miss Kamisato mentioned his name. We were just on our way to rescue him, actually. You don't say. Then it sounds like the Shirasagi Himegimi has a plan. Awesome. Kind of, not I've really. I've been thinking about breaking him out too recently. But if I just march straight in there by myself, I'd probably get Miss Kamisato in a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> probably. So, what about if I join you instead? Sure, well, so we both get her in trouble. Ayaka told us to go look for help at a fireworks shop. She must have meant you. <laughs> Seems like I finally got a new job to do. Uh, you know, besides hiding vision bearers in my shop, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Master Masakatsu is being held at the police station. I wonder why this I thing here doesn't have the, the purple I stuff on it. In. I haven't unlocked it. Whoa. Talk about a reliable barrier. source. Seems we've got the right person on our team. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Let's Maybe go it's just too far away. Everyone's ready. Don't worry, Master Masakatsu. We're on our way. Time to break him out. Um, I think maybe it was before Inazuma came out. I don't know. I think I started playing like one or two months after it came out, or something like that. I don't know exactly. Is a whole lot 
easier than Paimon imagined. No, that looks cool. Come on, this way. As long as we stay quiet, we've got a good chance. I certainly wouldn't want to end up locked away in here. Let's find Master Masakatsu and get out of here. We Sounds good to me. Up. I've got a little present to prepare for Master Masakatsu. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, you sure? All right then. Just be careful not to get caught. Yes. Uh, I second uh, you that. Too. Oh, okay. I'm glad I normally always try to read it occasionally because I hate the notifications. Solidify. Order guide you. Ha! Rumble apart! Does this? Oh, that sounded awful. I felt like that guy didn't have a chance. Ooh, what is this on my head? This is the same as camping in Call of Duty. Train harder. Is there a chest up here? Okay, anyways. Who knows if there was? Good kid. Oh, guess I'm gonna shut that down. Oh, chest. Hold on a minute. I guess that worked to my advantage. Oh, welcome back, Traveler. Where's the armor to shut this dude down? Oh, I see it. Hold on. Solidify. This is order. Open. Sesame. Uh-huh. 
Mm, I know there's a chest here somewhere. Hold on. There we go. He don't look Did you so really mean. think that little trick of yours could fool us? <laughs> Locking you up was just the beginning. <sighs> no. Oh no. Army of Yooks, hello. They're torturing him. If we don't come up with a way to break him out fast, then. Huh? Mia, when did you come back here? <laughs> We can only grit our teeth for now. We need to ensure we have a means of escape. Uh, I can't bear to watch. If anything happens to Master Masakatsu, our whole plan will have been for nothing. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Ah, uh, ma'am. We, we were just teaching him a little lesson, that's all. That's not part of your job, you dweebuses. That's Kujo Sara, adopted daughter of the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. What's she doing here? They go get in trouble. I think Kazuha mentioned her before. She's also enforcing the vision hunt decree. Make way. Let me have a look at him. <sighs> I'm sure you're well aware that torture is strictly against military regulations. Yes, ma'am. If you are unashamed of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. Seriously, they beat the shit out of somebody and you're gonna Maybe let them go she back? I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Hey, this is our chance. Let's move while they aren't watching Master Masakatsu. Yoimiya, are you sure now's the right time? <sighs> Who is that? Quick, go and investigate. Yes, ma'am. They're coming! Quick, hide! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. Dang, wooden shoes, man. Ah. <sighs> well, they'll find us for sure if you don't do something. Don't worry, I've got us covered. Time for my little present. Huh? Was that an explosion? It, it sounded like fireworks. Quick, let's hurry! <sighs> the fireworks were enough to distract them. Uh, maybe more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> fireworks aren't just for festivals, you know. Nice work. <laughs> I was particularly proud of this batch. I decided to... Make a little too many. Whoa, <laughs> uh, Mia. This is turning into a bit of a fireworks display. <laughs> well, fireworks are my crown. Funny how it's inside of a wooden building though, nothing's damaged. Spectacular. <laughs> and paper sliding doors. And nothing's damaged. <laughs> I'm beginning to think this wasn't only intended as a distraction. Anyways, those guards deserve what they got. Look, the coast is clear! Now's our chance! I doubt the coast is clear. She's probably still there. But, uh, you know. Yoimiya, is that you? Master Masakatsu! Sorry we took so long. Oh, those awful guards. Come on! We've got no time to lose! They could be back any minute! Would you stop shouting then, Paimon? Unless we're already caught by someone a little more powerful. Oh. It's 
surprised you couldn't hear her wooden shoes when you could hear Yoimi's little step of her wooden shoe. Uh, you were over there watching us this whole time, weren't you? Yes. Leave. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate medical attention. But remember, once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. For what uh, reason, ma'am? <clears throat> You can bet we'll do all we can to keep that from happening. We will protect Master Masakatsu. Thank you very much. <laughs> Leave this place. Gladly. Fox wannabe. Look at that mask. <laughs> you got a Dollar Tree or what? Place. Yes. Finally, I've made it out of there. Master Masakatsu, how do you feel? Can you hold on? Don't worry. I think I can make it to the infirmary without keeling over. Thank you. All of you. I'll take him to Ooh, get treated. Oh, it's supposed to be a crow. I'll drink you to a round of drinks once this is all over. I was... Don't worry about oh. us. Just take care of Master Masakatsu. You definitely bought that mask at the Dollar Tree. It's kind of funny because it does look like a fox though. Like, bruh, crow, what? I see a mask. It has a pointy nose and it's red. I associate it with fox, especially from Inazuma. <laughs> Luck was on our side this time. Right, Kujosara. Do you think she was making up for how the guards were treating him? Yeah, probably. She, she had some good sense in her body. Some okay people among the ranks of the Tenryo Commission. Oh, no, Paima would never agree with their actions in the Vision Hunt Decree, of course. How about we go tell Ayaka and the others the good news? Sounds good to me. Let's go. Jail. House. Fiesta. Mm, might be better off just like running and jumping down there from a pie. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. I walk in, there was a <gasps> decision, whatever. <laughs> it do be. Raining in it do be. I see. So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would appear she still has some honor to her. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps we could coax out some information. Unlikely. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. In her eyes, Master Masakatsu is of no threat to the decree. This is why she was so willing to allow his escape. If our true motives were ever divulged, she would act against us without a second thought. True. Though, if you ask me, Master Masakatsu's release is an unexpected blessing. We are now one step closer to victory. And we couldn't have done it without Yoimiya and the Traveler. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're turning out to be even more reliable than we expected. Glad I can help, and uh, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> you mention it. Indeed. Things may have turned out very differently this time without the help of the Traveler. But if we wish to mount any sizable resistance against the Vision Hunt Decree, there is still much to be done. Oh, it is yeah. time we make ready our next so we gotta talk plans. to Ryan There's Chogan no herself. need to rush, my real lady. One. Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, but our list of allies appears to be growing. Uh, yes, which reminds me. The Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. Mm -hmm. And the number of samurai out enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. A ceremony, you say? Perfect. 
Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I don't know, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. Anyway, with the Tenryo Commission busy with preparations, we should have a little more breathing room than usual. Hmm, you do present a good point. Being in a constant state of alert will only tire us further. Perhaps a period of rest is in order. Toma, what would you suggest? I'd say a celebratory feast is in order. Might I suggest an evening of hot pot together? <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. A hot pot game? What's that? Well, as long as it has to do with eating. Obviously, probably. Simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Oh god. Once the meal begins, we add all the ingredients together. That's good. Then we a, take it in bad. turns to close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Anyone who okay. guesses correctly can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. Tradition even has it that the winner receives blessings from the god of hot pot. Okay, so... Don't you think it sounds like fun? <laughs> I've been wanting to give it a try. In fact, I've already got my ingredients prepared. You really do want to play, huh? Well, sounds like we've got our work cut well, out for us. Her up. Time to gather some ingredients. But what should we choose? Uh... Let's be team daredevil. Ooh, Paimon proposes we gather raging demon level Joyun chilies, super salty ham, mist flower corollas. This is already shaping up to be a hot pot to remember. Oh, my stomach. It feels like Yo and Mia's fireworks are going off inside me. <laughs> Who would have guessed that Toma would be the winner? He ate practically all those weird ingredients without a second thought. Uh, Toma? You okay, buddy? Salt crusted hair. Yeah, literally. Unripe lavender melon? Flash boiled dongo? Oh, and whatever that thing was that nearly froze my tongue off. <laughs> uh, hold up. My life is starting to flash before my eyes. Time I call it a night, everyone. Yeah, I think the real winner is whoever doesn't throw up. You've only got yourself to blame, Toma. All those strange things you ate were ingredients you added yourself. But weren't you the one who added those little cakes, Ayaka? <laughs> I think the traveler ended up eating one. Boiling cakes in hot pot? Ugh. Think of the texture. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. Uh-oh. I'm definitely not okay. Uh, I need to lie down. I think you should go visit the toilet, uh, Toma. <sighs> <sighs> I feel like a new man. <laughs> you know, Toma, all you had to do was guess wrong on purpose and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. <laughs> uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pot's blessing. Perhaps I did get a little carried away. Still, I couldn't be beat <laughs> at my own game first time around. Too many spicy. I think my luck has already things. taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. So without further ado, I hereby declare that the winner of today's hot pot challenge is me. Congratulations. Ah, oh, <sighs> good effort, team. Another important job taken care oh. of. Next on the agenda, some well-earned oh, rest you? and relaxation. Yes. If the Tenryo Commission truly is as busy with preparations yeah, as Toma you, claims, Angel. then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. I don't know why you keep hiding with the extra her. time, there are some other matters I wish to attend to. Let's all take some much-needed time off. After a few days rest, mm -hmm, we'll reconvene sure. at the Komori Tea House and discuss our next operation. Downtime I don't is see hard why to anyone would days, so be sure to make the give most bits of it. besides you. I'll tidy things up here really and anything. start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> Tea coin was a special occasion. Sure, why not? Hmm. We should play again now that everyone knows Yeah, you tried to say that to me before, I'll see you all later. so. Bye, Toma. Not buying it. Hmm. Seems we won't need to be visiting Who else would the want to make themselves anonymous? I completed the quest. Remove of God and the Eternal Euphemia. 
I did it. Okay, what's next? Okay, oh my god, I have so many missions to do for first. Um do the last daily mission. Osmanth. Yep, we know about your Osmanthus wine. Hmm. Hmm. Where do we go from here? Where are this? Thank you for the fifty bits. Traveler Paimon, hold on. Hey, what's happening? Huh? I finished my thing, man. What's the matter? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. Ay ay ay. But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission True. or the Kamisato Clan. So far, you haven't. It is my own individual request. Well, whoever it was, request? thank you then. You mean personal stuff? Correct. It concerns my mother. This may seem a little sudden, but in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. Can you give me any more details? A few days ago, I was sorting through some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. She wrote about all kinds of things, mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently, it makes it difficult for me to ignore. Probably your mom's best buddy, right? Hmm, you'd really never heard the name before? Not once? Never. And although my mother and father passed away many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. So, I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality, who liked to have fun. Paimon thinks it sounds like a girl's name. That's what I thought, too. So what do you want us to do? Do you need us to find her for you? No, no. Her address is given in the notebook. We can head straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. Uh, this, uh... Please keep everything I this is like a side quest or whatever because I just completed what the quest I was dark on quest I was the doing. The proper course of action would be to involve my brother and visit her together. Oh god. But he is terribly busy at present and on a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Hence why you came to me in Outlander. Exactly. That and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people. Not to mention trustworthy. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. Right, this sentence kind of manipulated me into this. Come on, man. We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment, just treat us to some delicious food and we'll be more than happy. Wonderful. In fact, I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around. If you don't mind, of course. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool, that's cool, yeah. Can I go do my other oh, mission then? No. Mind. We don't mind at all. Do we? Nah, nah, not the slightest. Can I do my missions? Thank you kindly. Shall we head off then? Ogura Textiles and Kimonos is our first stop. Okay. Alright, sounds great. Can I do my missions now? With the crane and the white rope. Okay. Didn't want to start that, but I don't believe you have any choice. Okay. Didn't know they would be talking. She's all by herself, right? Oh, I accidentally did a, an into a mission, didn't I, or something? Because she's acting as if 
she's talking and laughing with somebody else. Uh, Paimon's creeped out. I had an imaginary friend too when I was a kid. What? You mean you used to act like that too? Uh, so is this an invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes? Or do they just exist in your imagination? Bruh. Imaginary means in your imagination. Imaginary. Imagination. Oh, you must mean imagined friend, right? Why didn't you just say what? so? No, what? So, this imaginary friend of yours. When does Paimon get to meet them? I'm about to backhand her. And hand her a dictionary. And Google. They're invisible. No. Seriously? So imaginary friends just disappear when you grow up? Uh, yes. Oh, Paimon was looking forward to meeting yours. Hey, don't suppose your brother has an imaginary friend too? Sure, they do. I don't no know. No way! You guys are so lucky. <laughs> sure. Because they have this game in Liyue. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. That's uh, not quite how it works. Oh, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, I think I might have started Venti's oh, um, quest. Bard. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. <laughs> Why does the thought of Lisa's contraptions make Paimon so nervous? Come now, that's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. For this particular contraption, Lisa had to import some dangerous materials from Sumeru. D dangerous Hmm. Again. Never noticed in the first time ever hearing them say Sumeru, but I don't know. A monocle equipped with some sort of detector? That's right. Looks like a monocle, but actually it's called an Ernama detector. Sadly, Lisa isn't able to use it herself, so I'm borrowing it for a while. And also, I'm testing it out for her, to see if it actually works. Huh? Why can't Lisa use it? Hmm, perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. So, you can see them? Go on, tell us, what does his imaginary friend look like? <laughs> that would be telling. Anyway, it's all yours now, Traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Bruh, I just want to complete my mission. Do you see him? Do you see him? Yeah, seems like they're best friends. Huh, so it does work for you two. Paimon wants to see? Wait, but this gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. All right then, you'll just Your have eyes to are pretty much the same big size as mine, Paimon. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. Okay. Yeah, I think I accidentally did Vinci's character quest. Floaty headed. You know, Paimon bets she has an imaginary friend. Just want to complete this man. There we go. Okay. I don't want to stay up too much later though, so I think I'm gonna call it here for the stream. I had a lot of fun though, and I powered through a lot of the rest of the mission that I was on. And it still took quite a good amount of time. But now I shall be getting ready for bed. Because I'm tired, you know. I didn't mean to start playing that. <laughs> My bad. But thank you all for joining with me. I had a very lovely time like I always do. So, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, night, or evening. Wherever you may be. Bye.